new LP here because there's a new DLC. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot louder than I Pretty cool. Um, Alright, um, yeah, so this is a new DLC for this war of mine. I haven't done that many LPs, so I just felt like doing more. Um, one of the first few ones I'll actually do a, um, a face cam for. That's on Celsius. Um, yeah, that all looks right. Probably that's not too loud. Don't choose episode. <laughs> I'm not going to disable mods because I'm just terrible at these. But um, we'll do it for the story mode. Now, apparently this one's bigger that they actually up the price because it's apparently a lot bigger. Um, it's one with multiple different stories. So it's clearly different than how they did the last one where it's like, is locked in to playing um as a more linear thing which is entirely different to how you play the other ones with like a specific character that goes through specific points in the game um to be able to progress it further which with the other one it's like technically you having all your survivors just die is a end game or i, w I don't want to say a win but like an end game so um you know that the original one's like so open and varied to stuff, but this one, it, it seems more like it's kind of going for a mix between them because it's clearly got a story to tell. I mean, it's called story, so of course it's gonna, but um, it, it's going more to the main feeling, share the game. I mean, I didn't mind the other one, it was just kind of like I would only play the once, you know. <laughs> It's a pain I have to do a window though, the game, um, because it is the only way that it won't freeze up constantly when I'm doing this. Yeah, let's do another couple of things I can stream, so why not? So it's semi voice acted, you know, probably. Because there was um, the whole new mechanic of recording and shit between each, um, I want to say between each day, but you know. Because this DLC is called The Last Broadcast, so you know, it's funny broadcasting. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a thing for Twitch and YouTubers, because it was around the. I would have had to plan it beforehand anyway. Voice that remains Thomas, your voice of Oregon. Yeah, that's the um the city. I'm pretty sure the city or town has been all fucked up. Oh, and is it disabled? Okay, double whammy. I actually have a um a friend that's blind that works at a radio station. It's good because it's a job that he wanted back in high school. So. That was pretty interesting though, just seeing him get up with the, um, I wonder if that means that it's going to be slower, he probably won't be able to move files, because, hmm. Because the other guy was like an adult, like just an ordinary full brain adult, and the struggle there was just that, um, it was really hard to do everything with just him. I mean, I don't know if this is just the one guy. I'm pretty sure from screenshots I saw someone else, but they might just come in later. They might just be someone, you know, that's just there for the beginning that they talk to it for a bit and disappears. I mean, it says there's multiple different safe houses and shit, so, like, there's not always just the one. I think they said there was three new safe houses? I can't remember, like, four new locations, which is the same one as the last time. Um, the other one's apparently revamped or something. Three vampired. Yeah, it looks like there's two people. Pretty sure the last one was a girl. That looks like a guy. I mean, you can't really. Yeah, okay, it is a girl. Get this a bit better. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to click on the window and I fucking skipped the thing. Oh, shit. God damn it. Alright. Smoker, that's not good. 
abstinent. I know, but I'm going to be honest, I don't know what that means. Um, I used to be a morning radio host before the war. I could, I would share celebrity gossip with my listeners, give them graphic updates and feel good stories. Everything has changed since the start of the siege. Now there's little time for thrills, but words can bring hope and current news can save lives. Yeah, it can, like, if you tell them, you know, something like there's a shootout down on the street, like a sniper or something, maybe they'll want to not go there, but I don't see it being that big, you know, but I have more purpose than ever to run my radio station now. Well, it's good that it's still functional in a half-destroyed house. <laughs> um, and even though Esma, that's a weird name, I mean, they're always weird, I guess, um, thinks I'm driven, I've never felt more a part of this more part of this community. People of Paragon need me and I will continue doing everything in my power to help them. Okay. That's nice. We got a we got a hero guy. Alright, what what's a fuck, she's the exact same. Sneaks quiet, okay. I didn't I don't look at his perk. Um this place is all we have left of our former lives. I'm severe I'm severed from my friends, my home and even my son. Oh shit. I wonder if that will come up later. You, you generally, you generally does. It was so lame foreshadowing for me. Every night I pray that he's still alive and well. <laughs> all I, Malik is really all I have left, and his cuteness keeps me sane. He finds purpose in his radio broadcast, and I help him out of hope. And he's a good man who puts the well-being of others above his own. I think I might like this guy. So it's up to me to look after him and protect him. Interesting, I. It's gonna be like an Alfred Batman-y thing, but if Batman were a uh, cripple. Um, I almost found it. Huh. I guess it's not always a pro. But yeah, um, it seems like the good thing for her. So what are these? Vinyl records with good music. Okay, so that's to play music, and then what's that? So you wouldn't, it looks, what is this? Is it already got a fucking... At least we can roll our own... Oh, so I already... Okay, because I've never actually um, made the Herba Workshop before, because I, I always run with almost the same strategy. <laughs> Just the couple ones that I know will work, because this game is such a... a stiffy, <laughs> let's say. Like, it's pretty, pretty tricky to work. Yeah, so it takes a while to get down. So... Threatening letter. Shut up, you bloody Keiko, or we'll shut you up for good. It doesn't say who from and to. Broadcasted news. Okay, so okay, that's that's interesting. So you actually have to find news to broadcast. You don't you don't just have things to say constantly. That that's interesting. I like that. Gives you a lot to start off with. Maybe something will happen to the shelter and we'll get fucked up or. Well, there's just going to be constant raiders, because they always fuck you up. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not happy about seeing that straight away, the clean water thing. Honestly, never usually fucked around with that. I'll probably get snowing pretty quick, because it's always, like, snowy. I mean, I think this is set in some American fantasy, American city. I don't know. <laughs> America do well. So, um, I think that's, that's why, um... Because it's always only ever snowing, there's no problem with heat. Not, not in any fucking... Only fresh and dry girl. I'm not afraid, I will do my duty, whatever it takes. I like that, I like someone who persists. Regardless of the odds, is... Motivational. <laughs> Inspiring. Um... But yeah, like, in plenty of other countries, it'd be like, Oh god damn, it's too hot, we've gotta build like a aircon or a fan or something, like... I mean, Frostpunk, it makes sense, because it's just the style of the game and stuff, but, um, I guess I wouldn't really be t as interested, like, it's easy to make something stylistic for snow and stuff, and snow is generally more interesting, but, like, in this war of mine, at least, it's, it's kind of like, why aren't there any scenarios where it gets, like, super fucking hot, and you're gonna build stuff like that? I mean, I guess it generally functions the same anyway, but, you know. Yeah, I'm really glad they always give you the Celsius and stuff. It's not always just in Fahrenheit. Oh, shit. 
That's pretty nice. I don't know if some of the mods will work on this because I got the mods before this came out, so. Um, looks like I gotta move that. Bunch of lock pick. Oh shit, this house is massive. <laughs> My god. Okay, you can't access the outside because that, that would just. Oh man. This is definitely the biggest house. How many floors is that? That's like fucking four, five, five fucking floors. This is huge. And you can go out the front. How far? It's fucking crazy, dog. Holy shit. I'm gonna clear these top floors just for now. Um, I don't really feel like having this guy do anything, but you know, like. I've never lied to anyone. Okay, so he's going to have real conflict if he does, isn't he? That's going to be his thing. It's going to have like a huge fucking breakdown if he... Shit, can he not move? Oh, can he not actually go down? A... Oh, okay. Okay, he's, he's locked to this floor. Because he can't use the ladder. And there's... Maybe she's locked to this floor too. Wait, can... can... Only a pick out. Oh shit! Okay, they they always just been able to shovel the rubble. I guess that does seem kind of absurd, but um, the, the things there. How? Okay, she can actually. Okay. All right. I was gonna say that seems kind of. As I said last time, um, well, I don't know if you watch the video, but like. Always want to upgrade that workbench first thing. If if you can, of course. If you can, because beds aren't as important. Even though luckily it's given you one, which I'll give to the. A photograph of a smiling young couple. The bride is holding an infant swaddle in a blanket. Yeah, I wonder if these people are filming out. I don't really see anything pertaining to that. It seemed like they like each other and they kind of got along or something. I don't know if she's able to get up there, because it looks like the rubble is blocking it, but... And that staircase is definitely broken. So you probably got to get a pickaxe to clear that out. Or at least I can get to that workbench. Or I can maybe make a, um... Maybe pickaxes is a new, um, thing you can craft. Maybe you just got to find it, I don't know. I doubt you find it in this house, so... Only trash and dirt you, fuck me. Right, yeah. Actually, I'll see if she can get to the... Well, it's blocked off from the back, so it wouldn't even fucking matter. Should probably try to run down here. And... I don't know, try anyway, but it's just a waste of time. And my time's... It's always like the first couple of days that you want to rush to get everything in the house. She doesn't even go for the stairs. <laughs> okay. That's definitely shit's locked. It's kind of like the first This War of Mine, because there were two apartments in this the, the first This War of Mine DLC, and like, you couldn't access the second one without building a, um, a bridge with quotation, air quotations there, um, between one to the other from like, um, I don't want to say the roof, but like the highest room through the windows, you just build it with like a, a couple of ladders and some shit like that. I don't remember if you used anything else, but it was like something you had to crawl with like wooden shit. If I remember correctly. It's been a while. If you watched my other video, I wasn't on. Um... Mm. Looks like I'm using a lot pick here. But it just because that looks like I might have medicine and that's always super important. Even though without any defense, because I, I doubt that Cripple could defend himself. Maybe you could spook someone off or something. I mean, I guess with a gun, like, but guns are super hard to get in this game. But, um, you know, like, you still want medicine stocked up, even though they'd steal it if you don't have any defense. Oh, I still have one. I thought I only had one big guy. Uh, look, pit. Sorry, fuck. I thought I set you to run. Come on. 
Yeah, because you're not wounded. But yeah, she's built for all the sort of stuff that I do anyway. Sneaks quite. It wouldn't have hurt to clean up here a bit. Well, it's not like you're getting out of room and clean up this fucking basement. Just be a waste of time. Considering all the other shit you gotta do. It'd be funny if they added the mechanic to just clean the houses. Uh. Oh shit, bottle of alcohol, that's, um, pretty interesting. Right, yeah, um, so there's nothing they can do for now, um, it's a shame I couldn't fucking... I didn't get much out of this place, like, there were like, fuck all piles. And he's got nothing to post, he's probably gonna have stuff to post, um, after every night that I go out or some shit, that's probably what I'm gonna do is like stuff that I encounter is just gonna be. That would actually be really interesting to think about it. I think the stream's slowing down the game because it's not running too smoothly right now. Alright, well, let's see what I can make. Come on, can I make a... You don't even get a workbench yet, do you? Oh wait, no, there's a metal workshop. <laughs> Alright, um... I'll just put her on sleep. And end the day. She's all well rested. Yeah, hey. Sleep in bed, scavenge, hug. Hook is considered a relatively safe area. Oh, it doesn't actually tell you what you can... No buildings to attract mortars and available of cover. Hmm. I don't like how they even mention snipers. That puts me on ease a bit. But I, I actually kind of like that it doesn't tell you before you go what you can earn from there. Because it makes you have to read this and consider, like what you could possibly encounter. So I actually kind of like that, honestly. Even though gameplay-wise, it's a lot easier. It makes things easier. A man who lived there used to give shelter to people that in need. He either died or fled after his home has been ravaged by mortars. Since then, the house stands abandoned. The neighbor kids say that it... I think I... Yeah, I think that's an old place. Gas yeah, stations, definitely. This was one of the very first places people looted after fleeing the city. This has been a few... I can't even read that. It's so small. Um, long year, long ceasefire intended to clean the whole area from civilians. But it was broken. Many people died. Though neither side claimed responsibility to this day. Despite heavy shouldering of the whole district, the station is in a surprisingly decent shape. Yeah. The gas station is a pretty nice spot to go to. It may have been looted, but it might still be worth to check out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gas station last, because I think that's going to be the least eventful. Generally, they have some reason to go back to look at this. Um, some NPC, and that's about it at the gas station. Good loot, generally, but you're going to have to do multiple visits to get all the loot from a place anyway. The ghost house seems like another good spot. I'll go there next. But the park generally, yeah. I've never been able to get back because it's always a fucking sniper that just instantly kills me whenever I go. So I want to check that out since it's saying it's relatively safe this time. <laughs> That's like fucking nothing. A single piece of crafting material from the whole building. That wasn't that much rubble to be honest. For a big place, it, it had like bugger all rubble. And it had a huge hole in the middle, too. Okay, um, this is definitely not the park that I was thinking of. I think that was maybe the town square or something. But, um, yeah. I'm not sure how you get up there. Maybe there's... I don't know. 
Not, oh god, creating. Wait, can you... Okay, there's a guy there. I'll probably have to... Hey there, it's wonderful to see someone who doesn't want to kill. <laughs> I've literally just walked up to you. How do you know I don't want to kill you? Please help me, I don't want to go back through the park. Okay, so, um... I doubt... I doubt... I doubt they're gonna... Is a park dangerous thing? Is he kind of just my warning guy, like the... He's not gonna damn sniper it, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, pass that heal. And... Is he just in that hut, just sniping people through that? No, no. Is must be in this. That looks like a pretty good spot. But... So I've got cover up to here then. Alright. I might talk to him. Let's see if I can get up here. Is there a way? Okay, there is. Yeah. What's that? Is that a weapon? Is that a pickaxe? No, oh, it's actually just a loot spot. Okay, another loot spot. I feel like this is going to be one of those ones. There's a lot of nothings. So. That's good. I'm not sure I'll... I might actually have to. Because I don't know if I can actually just climb back up. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, so I do have to actually... What, what do you mean? Okay. The steps is confuser. Oh, okay, I thought it was uh, there. So. Then I save him. I can run myself into death. I can uh, get a story to tell people not to come here for the sniper. Yeah, so I probably would be the one that gives those notifications to other people about these. Yeah. I wonder if I can actually talk to them or if they're just gonna have things. Yeah, okay. Thank you, take care. Oh, uh, buddy. Uh, something came up here in the bottom left, but I didn't actually get to read that. So can I actually get up here? This is dangerous. <laughs> like, I could just completely end this LP here, like... Well, yeah, I pretty much just fuck my LP up, rather. But I'll, I'll see if I can get to that part, at least. Someone fucking there. Okay, so it is safe. Now that we see that guy there, because he's not getting fucking killed. Looks like they're shooting at him. So. Got a loot spot. Oh my god. You don't need a snake, honey. Honey girl, as Esmeralda. Yeah, it must be around here somewhere. Watch out, the main alley is under sniper fire. The fucker shot two people already. Alright, that's as far as I can go. I can see one of the corpse there. Um. <laughs> nothing, nothing else here. I didn't get anything from that. There's always some sort of reward system to doing constant good deeds, though. Um, like generally, someone might come to your house and be like, "Yo, thank you." So, um, I don't know. After I do some reporting, maybe something like that will happen. 
I wonder what's going to come up that's going to be, that's going to make me think of lying or not telling someone something. Like, because I know that's going to happen. It's just like, why would it, you know? I mean, there's not really a mafia. Maybe the military come to the house. I don't know. It's happened. I don't think any militaries really came to a house and threatened any civilians in any of these yet. Oh my god, just, you're on the thing. Esmeralda is scared. Oh, that's a weird icon. The main park alley is under smoke, but I have to tell Malik so we can warn people. Yeah, what, well, wouldn't you just pass everything on? One? Yeah, it seems anywhere I go, I get one. It was done by location visits. Same image here. I'm trying to remind the so. lighting screen. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the stream. Just cut it down. It's not going to cut it down by much if I just go to only recording. But we have to let the people know about the snipers in the park. No notification, is there? Maybe it's just lagging out because it usually there we go i learned the sniper and i passed the message yeah um this night was calm yeah couldn't find anything useful um i'm retired <laughs> nothing oh yeah he's going all right that's good does he does when do you have to get music i don't know um story related. Why would it tell me that? Why, why wouldn't it just... President of Oregon, make sure to avoid the longest snake, uh, safe, his snipers. Yep. Okay. So, here we go. I brush, but I'm alive. Okay. How can the army terrorize innocent civilians? That bloody sniper. I hope the rebels get him. They'll know what to do with him. So he essentially said, I hope he fucking dies. Interesting. I don't really want your sides to win. Not completely crazy on its theory, but, you know. I'll, I'll leave it with the food for now because I don't have that much. Um. God, there's not really much I can do with you. What else? I'll just have I don't want to fucking sleep because I don't I don't have any more fucking I always have some thoughts. We have chairs, um we have one bed, we like cigarettes. <laughs> That's always just like on his own paragraph, just highlighted in the middle. We like cigarettes! We have, um, breaches in the wall, our shelter is not safe, yeah, the last one's always, like, the most important one, if you ask me. This big, huge paragraph is just kind of, like, the quality of life, like, how they're enjoying themselves. The middle one, we like cigarettes, it's kind of just, like, um, they develop kind of addictions and, um, things that they kind of require individually, sometimes, so, um, you know, it's generally cigarettes or caffeine. And they just go crazy on like, do we have supplies for that? Do we have it? And chain of, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you will, and they'll be happy about that. It will change and be like, we got a little supplies. So like, okay. You know. The top one's the one that changes dramatically when you get shit done. And the safety, um, that's more on how many people you got than anything. And if you actually got weapons. That's an interesting transition, what's going on here? Someone is going to visit. Huh. This is definitely story related. 
because that's never happened to me before. It's always just... It's a fucking traitor. That's pretty odd. It, it did that for a traitor. He, he must... Let's see what happens. I do need the material, so... Generally what I do when I do this is I'd have someone on the table just so I can look at the um, stuff that I need at the same time as talking to him because like if I leave him he just fucking goes so it's really painful but if you wait too long he also fucking leaves. So... Are you gonna trade with him? What is that? That option. Hey, got any new INK is information gathering. Or probing questions as they call it. Yeah, coffee is becoming impossible to get on. I I always hated that news thing when you checked out the radio and it's just like coffee is coming lower and lower. It's like I don't care. The world is out there won't the world is out there won't be delivering it until the next day drop. Yeah, so that. That's something that almost always fucking happens. So they say it's going to get rarer, so you may want to stock up for money to so like sell it. But you generally wouldn't even find it, you'd only find parts for it. And when will that be? Nobody knows. The price is going to soar. Yep, so start collecting. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so you want to talk to the traders for that then, I take it. Information gained? Oh, yeah, okay. That's what that is. Thought it'd be something like that. But yeah, it seems like you probably have to talk to them for that then, because that popped up before. Materials, gun piece. You actually need a couple gun pieces, so that's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> Just seeing that on its own. Cigarettes. She does want them, and she's already used one, but. I don't think I'll need water, but. No one's really wounded yet. The ammo is useless um, until you got a gun. You don't even need to worry about that. That, again, useless. Um, gears I would get, but I don't have any crafting material. Yeah, but for virtually nothing, though, let's see. What do I do? But we can have a deal. Alright, um. Might be good to get a band-aid bandage one. Well, they could just yeah, until I get weapons I'm not gonna worry about trading too hard. Fucking have a piece out. Oh shit, I should have even say the thing because you can say multiple things in one day. Okay, yeah, some ingredients. That's a different one. Alright, um, yep, same. Same too. Fucking smoke that. Yeah, as you know, I'll cut out the, um, it's deserted. I don't expect to meet anyone inside. Darren, they say that, and it's true, but. Somehow it's like they got a fucking sixth sense whenever they come into these places. That's probably a rat, but no, it's too stationary. That is moving like a human. It is a rat. <laughs> I thought it probably would be, but I'm like. That's moving a bit. Hmm. Because this generates noise. Yeah, I've been to this place. There's no fucking people ever here. This isn't one of the new locations. It's just taking a while to refresh my memory. Oh, what time are we at? 30 minutes. Oh 
to check that. Well, actually, while I'm here, I might as well check the final floors first. I'm pretty sure you need to grade it. Yeah, there you go. You need the fucking thing. This is usually the best stuff through there as well. Kind of like one extra room, but it only has some decent stuff. Nothing like mind blowing, but you know. Good loot. Generally. It's all RNG, so. I mean, because this is a story, there might be something to do with you. This is not the main game. This is a place you can't go to the backyard, too. So. I actually hate comedy. This is having, like, fuck all loot. What's up with the stories and having, like, way less loot than everywhere else? Weird that it's not having this sound. But come on. The sound, um, ripples. Maybe she's just that quiet that it's not actually generating. I saved them bundles. They're full. Fed up with this world. I was worried about that. 